Hello everyone and welcome to Snazzy Way Dropship Learning Center. Today we will learn step by step process of uploading bulk products on Amazon. First of all, go to www.sellercentral.amazon.com and it will take you to the Amazon seller interface. Log in to your Seller Central account and you will be present with the main dashboard. Here, our main objective is to list our products in bulk on Amazon. Hover your mouse on catalog at the upper left side of the screen and click on add products. Here, you will have two options. Either you can choose to list one product at a time, or you can list many products with a bulk upload. Let us start with the process by clicking on downloading an inventory file. In this section, you will see the categories of the products that can be added in the inventory and later uploaded. Let's say I want to add a product from clothing and accessories. I will click on it and choose the subcategories and finally making a selection with lingerie. Select a product from the list and it will show in the summary section. Just below that, you can see the type of template that you can choose. Instead of that, let us go to the inventory files at the end and click on category specific inventory files, which will give an exact difference of the product. Scroll down, and you will see the categories that were seen during the first step of listing. Click on the same type, and an inventory file will download with all the required specifications. All the specifications of the product must be entered in it and finally uploaded. The good thing is, you need not enter all the things manually. After downloading the template from Amazon, cut and paste the required data from snazzy way data feed files that have been provided to you. You can also find the data file in the description of this video or in the project files section. Also, Amazon frequently changes its template. The primary information is usually the same. So in the end, it does not make that much difference. Let's open it in Microsoft Excel, and you will see some information in the Instructions tab. You can look into more tabs that are available to have a better idea of the template. Let's go to the part where we can list the products of our interest. Click on the template and copy paste the data from the data feed file from Snazzy Way. Make sure to keep it open while working so that the whole process can be taken out smoothly. In the first section, you have the product subcategory. Following that, you have an item ID of the product and the brand name. These things play a very important role in listing a product as they are the primary source of information. With Snazzy Way, you do not have to worry about the minor mistakes. These templates are prepared with very intensive care. Next is the product ID type and item name. These details add much more credibility and detail to the product and make it specific in its category. The recommended browse nodes is a significant part as this is the part that ranks the product much higher in the results. To see the location of the browse node of a particular product, go to the web page where you selected the final product. Here, you will see your node ID that defines a particular product. Following are some of the columns that provide more specification of the product. This includes outer material type 1 and 2, color map of the product, material type from which the product is made of, color name, different sizes, for whom the product is for, size map, etc. The next and the more important section is pricing. This column here denotes the standard price that a product has, followed by the quantity you have for customers and finally the maximum retail price. The next part is the main image URL from where the master image will load. Also, you can add multiple images to make your product look genuine and professional. Material composition makes the product more detailed about the quality and material from which it is made. 
more details a person sees, more likely it stays in the mind and the chances of sales increases. You can leave some of them blank as they do not require that attention while listing the products, but you can fill it if you want. As you move forward with inserting information, in the basic section, you will find a column called Update. Here you can choose the status of your product. If it is a new product, then select the update, and you are still not sure about the complete information, choose Partial Update. It is recommended that you go to every section and fill the details that are required with intense care if it is of your interest. In the discovery section, you will see the search terms where you have to provide the keywords that Amazon will use to list your product according to the search. In short, this is the SEO of Amazon. Keep in mind that you can put more than one keywords in this section, separated by commas. In the offer section, at last, you can provide some additional information like what is the condition of the product, any condition note, the sale date will start, when it will end, what will be the handling time, launch date of the product, and other necessary information. The main goal should be to fill the critical information about the product that a customer should know. As it is mentioned, you can leave the extra blanks as they will not be involved when we will upload the products. At last, to provide more information and assistance to the customer, you can provide a manufacturer's contact number. Save this file and let's go back to the Amazon Seller Central. Click on Upload your inventory file to upload the products. The other way is to hover your mouse on inventory and click on Add Product via Upload. First of all, select the file type. Click on Choose File and browse the downloaded file that you have saved after the editing. After that, enter an email to get an alert when the upload is complete. You can enter any of the email ID for the alerts. Finally, click on Check My File, and it will give a final inspection to test the data if it is OK or it has some issues. As soon as you get the confirmation that the file is checked via email or by going to monitor upload status, you can go to step 2 in the upload section, select the file type that you want to upload. In our case, it is the inventory files. Choose your file. Enter your email for the alerts, choose the format, and click upload. And here you are with the process complete. It may look hectic and a little bit complex, but this will help you to get your products some right customers and finally a great business. Thanks for watching.